Hey, this is your teacher, Mr. J, and today we're just going to look at Reaper Audio Workstation and familiarize ourselves with some of the different parts so we're using the same language as we go through these tutorials. And as you can see, everything here is in one big window, and that's typically the way that it works until things pop up. The different areas, of course, you have your menus up here. Uh, we have our main toolbar that may look differently on your screen and may have different colors or whatever, but it they typically are the same buttons as you look at it. We have the timeline ruler in this area right here. These should show you the bars and the beats within those bars. We have what's called the arrange area right in here. This that you see there, my beat, is a uh, what's called a media item okay and over here this media item is on a track this track is part of the track control panel which is right in this area down here at the bottom this whole area here at the bottom is the mixer control panel and over here on the far left side you see the master mixer all the audio will go through this master mixer and again duplicated down here at the bottom is your track that we have and then we have our simple controls right along here uh, between the mixer control panel and the arrange area and we have controls set up pretty much just like a CD player we have play pause stop we can go to the end of the project to the beginning of the project and then we have record and loop. This gives you your current location of the transport. Over here on the right, typically you don't want to mess around with this one because this will change your rate. But if, if things, uh, but if you want to play back something quicker or slower, you can do that. Make sure you always bring it back to one. Our BPM, which we can also tap, and then what's being selected there. We have our scroll bars on the right and down here. We can adjust our zoom by using these buttons. And also adjust our zoom by dragging the scroll bars. And that's usually the simplified way of doing it. You can also adjust your zoom by dragging the track if you'd like to do it that way. So all I have to do here to play my loop put my transport wherever I want to start the loop, press play, and there we go. We'll be looking at how to make this hip-hop beat in a later tutorial, and I hope that it's been helpful. Please post any comments, questions if you have them. Thanks.